There is a tunnel, and machinery inside that tunnel sends beams of energy in a vast circle. The world's most powerful particle accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider. Scientists have an ambitious new plan to explore the mysteries of the universe, and Elon Musk has just announced a terrifying message about CERN. The tech entrepreneur and billionaire Elon Musk is always engaged on social media. His unique posts and tweets are sometimes hilarious to downright questionable. This time, Tesla's CEO and founder, Elon Musk, took aim at CERN's Large Hadron Collider. He basically tweeted out an image in which he refers to CERN's Large Hadron Collider as demonic technology. But why would a tech visionary like Musk make such a comment about LHC? To better understand this, you have to watch this video till the end. What is LHC? The Large Hadron Collider, which is underground in Geneva, Switzerland, is the world's biggest and most powerful particle accelerator. For those who don't know what the LHC is, let us explain. The Large Hadron Collider is being built by CERN, which stands for the European Organization for Nuclear Research. More than 10,000 scientists worked on this project. They came from hundreds of universities and research centers in more than 100 countries. The Large Hadron Collider is currently trying to find dark matter by smashing atoms together with its special accelerator in the hopes of making a discovery that could change the way scientists think. The stars, planets, and galaxies in the universe make up only 5% of all the matter in the universe, according to research done at CERN. At the world's biggest atom collider, physicists have seen three new strange particles as they continue to try to figure out what holds subatomic particles together. A novel variety of pentaquark and the first pair of tetraquarks were observed on the same historic day at CERN. The Geneva lab restarted the Large Hadron Collider with its strongest ever beam of energy after a three-year sabbatical. After painstaking maintenance and repairs, the restart gives a global network of scientists another chance to look for the strong force that holds the nuclei of atoms together. The electromagnetic force, gravity, and the weak force are the other three forces that govern how particles break down. This also marks the 10th anniversary of the discovery of the Higgs boson. This was a big deal at CERN because it helped to solidify the so-called standard model, which explains the basic ideas of particle physics. The Higgs is named after the Nobel Prize winning physicist who came up with the idea. It helps give all matter mass and is thought to have been there right after the Big Bang 13.7 billion years ago, when the universe was made. But physicists still have questions about the Higgs, and they're looking beyond the standard model. It is the most complete one we have, but it doesn't explain where gravity comes from, what dark matter is, or why there is so much more matter than antimatter in the universe. Here's where the Large Hadron Collider comes in. In order to collide subatomic particles with as much force as possible, the Large Hadron Collider uses a set of superconducting magnets that are arranged around its enormous underground ring. This ring extends beneath 27 kilometers of Swiss and French countryside and spans the international border between the two countries. Explosive collisions, powerful results. In particle accelerators like this one, slamming protons together with a lot of energy can make tiny particles that are usually invisible. As in a car crash where more violent collisions break up the car into smaller pieces, the higher the energy, the more likely it is that the LHC's detectors will help scientists find traces of the smallest, strangest particles. Along with the new magnets, which must be kept at negative 271.3 degrees Celsius, which is just colder than outer space, CERN's engineers have turned up the beams of protons to levels that have never been seen before, causing collision energies of 13.6 trillion electron volts, up from 13 TeV in the last run. One trillion electron volts is about as much energy as a flying mosquito, but for a subatomic particle, that's a lot. CERN says that the beams racing around the ring will eventually carry as much energy as a train going 150 kilometers per hour. The particle beams will also be denser, which will make it even more likely that they will collide and increase the chances of making Higgs bosons, finding new particles, and maybe even a new kind of physics. The axion, which is thought to not give off, absorb, or reflect light, is one of the most sought-after prizes. It's one of the best candidates for what dark matter is made of. Dark matter is the mysterious stuff that scientists think makes up 85% of all the matter in the universe. The new particles, 
The first pair of tetraquarks and a new type of tetraquark called a pentaquark were found in a huge amount of data collected at the LHC during previous research. This will help scientists figure out how subatomic particles are made. The protons and neutrons that make up the nuclei of atoms are examples of hadrons. The more unusual hadrons are made up of two or three elemental particles called quarks. But 60 years ago, physicists started to think that these combinations can sometimes make four quark and five quark particles. The LHC and other experiments have only seen these so-called tetraquarks and pentaquarks in the last 10 years. The strange quark is the first one to be found in a pentaquark. Niels Tuning, a physicist, said in a statement, We're in a time of discovery similar to the 1950s, when a particle zoo of hadrons began to be found, which led to the quark model of conventional hadrons in the 1960s. We're making particle zoo 2.0, he said. In particular, the new information will help theorists come up with a single model for exotic hadrons and learn more about ordinary hadrons. Some theories describe exotic hadrons as balls of tightly bound quarks, while other models think of them as pairs of standard hadrons that are loosely connected in a molecule-like structure. We need to do more research to find out if either or both of these ideas are right. Researchers at CERN said that the finding of the pentaquark has a huge statistical significance of 15 standard deviations. This is a lot more than the five standard deviations that the physics community needs to say that a particle has been seen. With the new tetraquarks, which were seen with a statistical significance of 6.5 and 8 standard deviations, a pair of tetraquarks has been seen for the first time. An international effort. No other particle physics lab is bigger than this one. More than 5,500 scientists from 245 institutes in over 40 countries work on ATLAS, the largest experiment at the LHC. Other new experiments at CERN that look into the nature of the universe will focus on the collisions of high-energy ions to learn more about the plasma that was only around for a microsecond after the Big Bang. Other experiments will look inside protons, study cosmic rays, and search for the still hypothetical magnetic monopole, which is an isolated magnet with only one magnetic pole. Other detectors will help scientists study particles like neutrinos and dark matter that are very light and don't interact with each other much. This year is the start of Run 3, which is the third time the LHC has done collisions since it started up in 2008. It is now bigger than the Tevatron and Fermilab in Illinois, which was the biggest particle accelerator before the LHC. This version will run until 2026, when the machines will be upgraded again. The many billions of euros needed to pay for the project come from each country that is involved. For the fiscal year 2022, the Biden administration gave only $40 million for future upgrades to the LHC. This was a lot less than what was needed, which was about $90 million. The Department of Energy then took an extra $25 million from other physics projects, including some upgrades at Fermilab. During this run, the scientists in charge of the LHC's two main experiments will smash together groups of about 100 billion protons at a rate of 40 million collisions per second. Each collision will cause about 60 smashes, each of which will create hundreds of particles. We find more kinds of strange hadrons as we do more analyses. Charming New Particles So far, the LHC has discovered 59 new hadrons. Among these are the most recently found tetraquarks, as well as new mesons and baryons. All of these new particles are made up of heavy quarks like charm and bottom. Studying these hadrons is interesting. They tell us what nature thinks is a good way to hold quarks together, even if it's only for a very short time. In addition, they tell us what nature doesn't like. For example, why do all tetraquarks and pentaquarks, except for one, have a pair of charm quarks? And why are there no corresponding particles with strange quark pairs? At the moment, there is no explanation. How the strong force holds these particles together is another thing that nobody knows. One school of thought says they are small, like the proton or neutron. Others say they are like molecules made up of two hadrons that are only loosely connected. Experiments can measure the mass and other properties of each new hadron, which tells us something about how the strong force works. This helps connect what was done in the lab to what was thought to be true. The more hadrons we find, the better we can adjust our models to match what we know from experiments. The LHC's main goal is to find physics that goes beyond the standard model, and these models are a big part of that. Even though it has worked well, the standard model is not the last word on how particles work. For example, it doesn't fit with cosmological models that explain how the universe came to be. 
The LHC is looking for new basic particles that might explain these differences. The LHC might be able to see these particles, but they might be hidden in the background of particle interactions. Or they could show up in known processes as small quantum mechanical effects. In either case, to find them, you need to know more about the strong force. With each new hadron, we learn more about how nature works, which helps us describe the most basic properties of matter in a better way. That pretty much wraps this video up, guys. Thanks for watching. So, what are your thoughts about the experiments being conducted at CERN using LHC? Share with us in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe to this channel with a bell notification if you enjoy watching our content. We upload some awesome stuff here, which you will most certainly enjoy. Hit a like on this video and leave a comment below. See you guys in the next one. See you guys in the next.